Hello everyone, Ian here, and it's World Psoriasis Day 2020. And this year, I'm going to do something a little bit different. In previous years, I've done talks about how I'm doing, uh, what it's like to live with psoriasis, and so on. Uh, this year, it happens that World Psoriasis Day falls on the first day I'm going to be taking my new injection. So I figured, why not record it? Uh, I won't say live, because we're going to be editing this together. Uh, but this is being recorded on Thursday, October 29th, which is World Psoriasis Day. So, um, I don't know if it's Happy World Psoriasis Day or Merry World Psoriasis Day. I don't know which way we should go with this. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have an idea in, in mind. But uh, here's World Psoriasis Day. I'm wearing purple uh, for World Psoriasis Day, obviously. Purple's the color of psoriasis awareness. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to open up the injection, which I haven't even taken a look at yet. Uh, and I'm going to show you a few of the things uh, that have come with the injection. So uh, first off, we've got lots and lots of paperwork. It might be a little bit uh, brighted out because of just my lighting setup. Uh, but we've got a basically what's the injection all about. And we've got this handy guide that talks about how to actually inject and uh, things about uh, the drug itself and how to understand psoriasis and how to stay on track and uh, the drug program for Salik as well which if you haven't watched my last uh, Breaking the Puzzle video which uh, just aired Wednesday uh, so yesterday uh, I talked about how my new drug is going to be Salik uh, my old drug Simzia had stopped working so we've just finished doing a bunch of paperwork and getting this drug in my household. I should have actually taken it last week, but unfortunately I was finishing up a set of antibiotics. Um, so my cool off period after the antibiotics was actually done for yesterday, but uh, I'm trying to plan ahead for my injection date uh, to make sure it doesn't fall on dates when I'm gonna be out or uh, potentially the day after the injection being susceptible to picking up stuff because I'm out and around. Uh, so Thursdays work the best for me. That's why I've kind of put it off. But most of you on the internet don't really care about that. You're here to see Salik. So I have redacted a lot of information off of here uh, just because I'm not sure what information you guys should be able to see and whatnot. So um, I do share my name, but I've redacted it anyway. You know what? It's more mystery what's under there. So uh, this is the uh, injection box. Uh, there's two needles in here. I'll be taking one today. Uh, so the dosing is one on week zero, which is today. This is week zero. I'll be taking another injection next week on week one, another one on week two, so that's a week after that. And then it'll start every two weeks after that. Uh, so yeah, uh, now this isn't an auto syringe. This is a manual syringe, uh, so we'll see about that. And uh, they have recommended to do a pinch in the area where you're doing it. I'm going to try and film the uh, injection from a different camera, but hopefully this turns out. So I do apologize. Um, it's a little harder when you're pinching because you've got two hands in the area. Uh, auto injectors you tend to be able to do with just one, one hand. So, uh, But without further ado, let's get into this. So uh, there's this little like breaky thing. Oh, there we go. All right, so inside the box. I'm really bad at unboxings, by the way. Inside the box, we have the two injections, which you can see down in the box there. Let's see if... Nope, it's too bright. Well, maybe this camera will pick it up. Uh, so we've got the two injections there. We've also got the instructions here. Uh, looks like one's in French, one's in English. And I don't know if you've been on any biologics before, but these are well, very easy to rip first of all, because they kind of glue them together. And they've also been in my fridge, so that doesn't help. Uh, but these instructions <laughs> and whatnot also do side effects and so on. So in case you've never been on a biologic, I just want to show you what uh, you can read. So this is uh, double-sided, and it's got all the instructions of how to actually do the injection, and it's got side effects, and it's got... Oh, there's French and English, so it is actually only one-sided this time. Uh, my last one was actually double-sided in English, so uh, weird. Anyway, 
Uh, it's got all the side effects and all that, so you definitely want to keep this in a safe place in case you have to look at it at a later date. Uh, my safe place is going to be on the floor over there, and I'll tidy that up off camera later. Just going to have a sip of water here. So when you're ready for an injection, you're going to want to make sure you have alcohol swabs. You're going to want to make sure you have your sharps container. Uh, this isn't the one that the drug company provided. This is actually one of my own from a previous biologic. I want to kind of use up the old stuff and get those out of my house. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, sharps container. They provided a massive one uh, from Salik themselves. So uh, don't know where I'm going to put the big one. It's like you could fit two of these in it. But uh, very nice of them to send a nice big one. It should last quite a long time. Um, so anyway, I have alcohol swabs. I'm used to having two out because my last injectable, I had to take two injections every uh, two weeks. So really kind of, this is an old habit, but so I need one of these and I need the actual injection. So to grab out the injection, you grab it from the vial itself. You're going to inspect it to make sure it's not cloudy or have any bits or anything in it. So I'm going to take a good look at that. You also want to take a look and make sure that the expiry date, um, so it's really hard for you to see here, but the expiry date is a good expiry date. It's not expired. Um, now for these sort of injectables, you kind of hold them between your forefinger and your middle finger and you use your thumb to actually do the injecting. Um, and this way you can also control. The auto injector kind of goes out spring loaded. With these you can actually control how quickly it goes in, uh, which I actually prefer. So let's prepare the area. So I've got shorts on so I can easily do this. It's nice and cool actually wearing shorts. It's a little bit fun having uh, the business up top and party down there. Um, so you're supposed to do it in your thigh. So I also have to take into account I've been doing a lot of injectables. Uh, one in each leg every two weeks for quite a while actually. So I have a routine of where I go. Um, you don't want to ever do the same injection site repeatedly. You want to alternate it. Uh, because I'm only going to be doing one injection every week for a while, I'm going to actually alternate legs uh, so that I, I don't have as much risk of hitting the same injection site. Um, I also happen to know that I tend to bleed if I go in this section. Uh, so if you're watching on the other camera now, and so I'm going to go over here because I do know that this is a good section. It's nice and meaty, so it's not too bad. And I'm going to go a little bit wider on the area than needed. Um, a little bit of advice, just I don't know if this isn't really doctor's advice. I have a garbage over here, so I'm just going to throw that. Um, I tend to like having a shower a few hours before an injection. I find it softens up my skin, so it the injectables themselves go in a little bit easier. I also find a little bit less blood comes out if I happen to to get a little bit of blood. It's very rare I get blood, but occasionally it can happen. So uh, now that we've done the alcohol swabs, here I'll just get rid of that garbage. Perfect. Alrighty, so the big thing they mentioned is they want you to pinch. So you're to grab about a two inch section so that's about a good two inches. I can actually see a previous bruise there, but I'm going to stick with this area because I know it goes in well. And when you're ready, you take off the lid. Come on. There we go. That came off. Okay, so now we've got the needle itself exposed. I'm going to put the lid actually in there just for safekeeping. Actually, no, in my sharps. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the pinch. And hopefully you can see that okay. And it says from a 45 degree to a 90 degree is where they want you to do it. So I'm going to go in at as close to a 90 as possible. So I'm in. And now we kind of just push in the plunger as we hold the white part as steady as we can. And there we go. So I'm about halfway in now. Now I will point out, I hate needles. I absolutely hate needles. When I get blood work done, I actually have to look away. I'm not able to look at it. Uh, not that I have ever passed out. It's just I find I get a bit queasy looking at it. Um, you'll notice I'm not having any problem. I'm talking to you guys. And I'm pushing this needle in. Okay, it's all in. I'm going to pull the needle directly out and I'm going to release the pressure so that hopefully the stuff doesn't come out. So you can see it's all gone. I'm down to that. 
and don't wave these around. Put them right in your sharps container and make sure the lid disposes of them. Uh, the only thing I didn't think of bringing was a bit of gauze. Uh, so I'm going to grab a little bit of paper towel and I'll be right back. All right, so I got some Kleenex. I couldn't actually find any paper towel. So I'm just going to gently wipe the area because there was a little bit of the injection that was coming out. But overall, it went in nice and easy. Uh, nice thin needle. I'm very happy with it. It's very comfortable to go in. And I'm someone who despises needles. I hate needles. I, I really don't like them. Uh, which is funny because I take insulin. I have to have monthly blood work. Well, normally I do. Over COVID, I've been really bad at doing that. Uh, but yeah, I'm one of these people that has to have injections. So the fact that I liked this injection uh, over some of the previous ones I've had, that's saying something. So good job to the company that manufactures Salik. It looks like it's Bosch Health. Bosch? Bosch? I think it's Bosch. B-A-U-S-C-H. Bosch Health. Uh, very good injection. Um, very happy with it so far. Uh, no site reactions as of yet, but that can come up within about half hour or so. I tend to get a bit of redness. Um, and because of all that liquid being in there, occasionally you'll get a bit of bumpiness. Uh, I have not had this injection before. This is my first time. So I won't know that uh, right away. That'll be something I'll notice probably in a, an hour or two. So thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and we'll see you on week two. I won't do next week. I'll do week two. So if you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section below or reach out to us on social media. Thank you very much for watching. You guys take care. See you later.